Hey everyone, it's Pete Lavelle, Crazy Commission coming to you and this week's tip is going to stick with the basic scout skills and we're going to go over the 10 essentials. So when I get back indoors, we will take apart a scout pack and we'll go from there. So I'll see you real soon. Hey everyone, welcome to the back case. So, so now that we're back inside, we're going to go into the 10 essentials. Uh, last week I went into something that was called the 10 C's, which is basically 10 C's of survivability. So that's a little bit more expanded than the 10 essentials. So you have a lot of scouts that are crossing over into the scout program. So we're just going to keep it very simple. Remember to keep everything, a scout is thrifty. Keep everything uh, down to a minimum. It's not that expensive to get the 10 essentials if you know exactly where to look. So we're going to start off. The first thing is a knife. So you have a, a knife here. It's a fixed blade knife. And you also have a uh, folding uh, pocket knife. So that's one of the things there that's your option of how you want to go ahead and do that. You have a first aid kit. First aid kit does not need to be a lot to go ahead and uh, to have the bare essentials. This is a little bit more comprehensive. This is coming from my son's pack. Uh, it's a little bit more comprehensive. But just a few band-aids a mole skin, a uh, bandage or two, and that should carry you over. Extra clothing, depends on the circumstances and situation. If you're going outside and you have the jacket on, you can always take your jacket off and put it in your bag or whatever. You have the extra there, you can always take it off because you're leering. But I always tell everybody, bring an extra pair of socks. And if you're going out on the trail, bring two extra pair of socks and an extra pair of underwear. You just never know. The other one is rain gear. I always stress to get the most expensive rain gear that you can, which is basically uh, a military style poncho. However, because you're starting out, just get a dollar poncho. You can pick them up from a dollar store, five below. They're about a dollar a piece. You can toss them in your packs. Uh, the other one is a water container. This here is a canteen and canteen cup. These are different, but you can pick up water containers uh, anywhere. You can pick them up at the thrift shops. You can pick them up at dollar stores, anywhere that you can see deals, even Wally World. Uh, try to go with uh, stainless steel uh, is, the, is the best. Uh, now jeans, you cannot boil with those. But just starting out, that should be fine. A flashlight, you can pick up really inexpensive flashlights. This here is a little specialty flashlight for my son. Uh, so we have that. Trail food. A lot of people talk about uh, Gorp and um, granola bars and all kinds of trail mixes. However, sometimes they forget do pack like some beef bullion and like an um, energy, like a Gatorade kind of packet, just in case. If you're out and about, you need the electrolytes to kind of build up to because you might have some salt depletion. So we're also going to go with the fire starter. We've got a fire starter kit and we also have Vaseline and cotton. This basically is relatively inexpensive to make and so is this fire kit. So look around, you can do that. Vaseline is probably about a dollar. A bag of cotton balls is probably about a dollar, and you can get a leftover pill bottle and toss those in there. You have sun protection, depending on the season. However, you have a hat, and you can also have either a kefir or shimog. If you want, go ahead and throw some sunscreen into your kit. You're good to go. Just, just put it in a little vial, put it in your first aid kit, and you'll be taken care of. The other one is a compass and a map. The compass is... As you go along, you should get a little bit more expensive compass, but just starting out, you can go to Wally World and pick these up for about $7. Um, they're inexpensive. So to put together your whole kit should be less than $30. And if you're really good, you could probably do it in about $20 or less by reusing some of the stuff that you have available. So if that's it for now, hopefully everybody has a good one. I'll talk to you all soon. Hey everyone, it's Pete Lavelle. Just wanted to go ahead and do this little service announcement that if there is a little tip or trick that you would like me to cover, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can go ahead and email me at plscouting at gmail.com. We're trying to take everything and going back to the basics. So if there's anything that may interest you, just let me know. Again, make a comment down below or plscouting at gmail.com. Thanks.